question. I live in an apartment in New York City, and we have plain white walls, and we're not allowed to paint them. So I was wondering what I could do to sort of add a pop of color to make it a little more appealing. OK. You're going to come down and help me with this, because okay. you wrote this question in. We're going to go right over to that wall. I'm going to meet you Genevieve's over there. ready for you. I'm ready. Now, come over here. Walls, there's a lot of walls, I guess. Yeah. You can be on this side. This is actually a problem I had when I went away to college, and we're all in dorms with cinder block walls. Yes. And that's even more limiting and restrictive than the rental apartment. Yes. So what I did in the dorm is something that I still do now in rentals, where I basically line the top of the wall where it meets the ceiling and the bottom of the wall with corkboard. Ooh. You know, the corkboard squares that yeah. you buy at any kind of office supply. Now I'm going to ask you to take the little tack out of the side. What I do is basically upholster the walls. And how we do that is we just create this little canvas stretcher of cork and Bring this to the bottom. This was just holding it up for the show. We're going to take little thumbtacks, and we're going to tack this and stretch it to the bottom of the wall. And you've basically created a wallpaper out of fabric, and you haven't done a thing to disturb the wall. Really beautiful. That's so <laughs> very clever. I like it. It's also really, really great for tonal quality. If you're living in a place that sounds tinny or loud, it's like when you put window treatments on. All of a sudden, the, to the tone becomes kind of hushed, quiet, sweet, almost like a hotel room. Nice. Keep on going. we got to stretch this whole thing. And you can do this with discount fabrics where they're a dollar a yard. You can do a whole room for under $200 if you want. That's wow. so great. Wow. Really good.